Hi, my name is Deborah Hopkins. I'm with Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services. I'm here today to talk to you about some educational points as it relates to the legalization of cannabis use in the state of Maryland as of July 1st, 2023. One of the myths out there is that marijuana is grown in nature, so it must be safe for us, right? It's a plant. Marijuana today is not made the same way that it was made, say, 50 years ago. The potency in marijuana, the compounds, the THC, are very different. And that's because we are mass producing marijuana. We are growing them in grow facilities and we have biologists and botanists who have really worked hard to strive on making a stronger and more improved product as they perceive. This can be very dangerous for those folks that think they're just going to get a small high when in all actuality, when you're smoking today's marijuana, you don't really know the potency of the THC that is involved. Another myth that we would like to debunk is that you can't overdose on marijuana. And to understand, you need to know what an overdose is. It just simply means that you've taken more than the normal or recommended or prescribed amount of a product, whether that's marijuana, your prescribed medication, um, you're taking more than an acceptable amount. So yes, you can overdose. I'd also like to touch on synthetic marijuana. Synthetic marijuana goes by many names, K2, Spice, uh, Alligator. There are many names that this is called by. You need to be careful of synthetic marijuana. This is a no, 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 no. These drugs are dangerous, they are human made, and they are sprayed with chemicals. They are sold in colorful packaging and marketed to our youth. You can often find them in convenience stores, um, and they're very accessible in our schools. Please do not try synthetic marijuana. It's very important to note that if you do choose to use cannabis products, you have to keep these products secured and safe away from children and pets. These products can be extremely dangerous to our little ones and our pets, and we need to make sure that we do our best to protect them. We do want to remind you that cannabis and driving do not mix. Although cannabis is legal, driving under the influence is illegal. As part of our Know Us Before You Need Us campaign, your friends at Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services has a goal of providing you these safe educational tips. Please, if you need something again, feel free to reach out and stay safe out there.